Hello, my name is Dick Schisler. Today we are going to take a look at the advantages of the Nelson ACV 200 continuous acting air control valve. The valve consists of the aerodynamically designed float, a seal, and two ports, one large, one small. On startup, you will see the float rise as water enters the chamber. At this point, large amounts of air can be exhausted out of your system uh, during startup. As the water rises, that port will seal off and the small port can continue to exhaust air even when the system is pressurized. So let's take a look. On system startup, you will notice the water entering the pipe. As the water fills the pipe and pressurizes, air will be exhausted out the quick acting Nelson air control valve. As more air enters the system and passes by the uh, high point in the system where the air control valve is located, we will exhaust that air even under pressure. You'll notice that the air coming through the system will not accumulate downstream and cause a restriction in the pipe. On system startup with a conventional two-way air control valve, you'll notice the water entering the system. Air will be evacuated until the water rises to the level of the float in the valve, at which point the valve, the float will seal and no more air can be exhausted from the system. You'll notice here the air that is trapped in the system and cannot be evacuated as long as the float is sealed. As this air accumulates and causes a greater restriction in the pipe, we will have a significant friction loss and loss of pressure downstream uh, of the control valve. 